guys, what's up? This is JRP77 with JG and Games, and I'm going to be finishing up my tutorial series today on how to create game assets for use in your game. So, I'm not actually going to be making a game, because that would take way too long, but I figured why not just make uh, something cool, like a, che like a chess board. So that's what we've been doing this series. We started out by making a really high quality model. And, but it had 65,000 vertices, and so that was way too much. So what we did was we went five. So then we made this. It's a very low. It only has 1,400 vertices, and we used normal map. We made a normal map. Now that's a redone version. In our normal version, you can see that we made a normal map, and it looked great. But our reflections were getting messed up because of stuff like this, all these lines. So we redid them in Photoshop by blurring them out just a tad. And then we went into, and then we com made, edited this in the compositor, and now we can see it looks pretty sharp, and that's with our texture added. So what now? Well, the next thing to do is we're going to hit File, Export, FBX, and we're going to save this as just chess piece retop at FBX. Then we're going to go into Unity by opening Unity up. But before we get started, I'm going to make a chessboard by simply hitting Command New. And scaling this down to 0.1 on the Z, and then scaling this up to four. Now scaling this on the Y to four blocks on each side, four blender units. I mean, and then scaling on the X four units, and we're one shy to like that. Now we have a chessboard, so I'm just going to hit 7, Tab, U, Project from View. And I'm going to go to our UV editor, and I'm going to scale this up to the size of our um, UV map. Then I'm going to hit File, Export, FBX. I'm going to call this Board, and I'm going to save this to the R folder. Now let's open up Unity. So I'm going to open up Unity, close Blender behind me, quit anyways. Now, I've been looking at the chessboards, and I've noticed that they have eight squares across, and they're one, two, three, they're eight by eight squares. Yes. So we want to do the same. We want this to look realistic. So we're going to go into Unity, New Project, I'm going to go to Asset Packages, and hit Effects. That's it. I'm going to name this just Project. And I'm going to create the project. And it'll import all the image effects that we're going to use to make this look really cool. Now, this is just to show what Unity 5 can do. This is not, if you want to make a really high quality image, I highly suggest using the Blender Compositor and the Blender Cycles Engine. But because this is a tutorial showcasing how good how cool unity 5 is then we are just going to um, do it in here so first of all we want to import all of our stuff by hitting import new asset board I mean not board game tutorial um, board.fbx and import that one first then we're gonna get it import new asset tutorial chess piece then we're gonna go in, now we need to import all of our textures by going to downloads Getting our checkerboard texture. That should be 8x8, eight eight, and it is. So we're going to import that. Then we're going to import one more texture, and that is our um, granite texture. And we're going to import this in. Now let's start building our scene. So, first of all, I'm going to drag in our board. This should be a normal size. I'm going to hit 0, 0, 0. Then I'm going to drag the texture that we just made onto there. Now that's 8 by 8. So that looks great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our chess piece in. Just going to drag it over the top like right there. And now we need to scale this chess piece down to where it fits inside of one of these squares. So I'm just going to hit R to scale. And then I'm going to hold Option to pan around. And I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to get, oh, fuck it. And then I'm just going to click on that top arrow and go into orthographic view so that I can see exactly how big it's going to be on top. So something like that. Now, right there, 
Now I'm going to start duplicating these. Now I actually want this one to be over here, and that's because of where our camera is going to be placed. Now I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up. So I'm going to go to side view, and it's lined up perfectly. So I'm going to go to the top view, Command D, move it over. Oh goodness! Click on this, Command D, move it over. Click on this. And just move it over. And we're just going to continue hitting Command D and moving it over. Command D, 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 moving it over. Now, actually, for this image, I want to do the exact same thing but with different materials on the other side. So I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to hit Command D and I'm going to move all of these to right here. Now we have two sets. Perfect. It's exactly how a chessboard looks. Well, somewhat. Now we want to play around with this material that this board has. So we're going to go here to this cube on this wooden shader, and we're going to actually make this a bit metallic. So we're going to make this like 0.2. And if we pan, you can actually see uh, the reflection. And when we get down like right here, you'll be able to see the reflection. And we want the smoothest to be like 0.75 because it's a chess or like one. Yeah, we want because a chessboard is supposed to be really smooth, and if you rotate, you can see all the light. Actually, 0.75 because nothing's exactly smooth except for mirrors. And now, if we pan around, you can actually see that the light reflects off of it. That's too much, so I'm going to change this to 0.5. To five. Uh, 0.3. Yeah, something like that, because we don't want it to be too shiny. We are missing one piece. Move this over. Okay, so now we want to make the material for these first ones. These are the first... Um, so, all these have the same material. So, if we click on one, and we click on the circle, we have this test material. So, I'm going to double click, I'm going to go to Materials folder, hit Test. Then on this, on this albedo, I'm going to select our zoom image, and it'll so make all of that that. Now I want this to be sort of metallic, so I think I did 0.3 and 0.2 for smoothness and metallic. Now, but we still see we don't have all the detail that we had in our original shot, in our original model. So we're going to go to normal map, and we're going to scroll down until we see the ends. I, oh, I didn't import the normal map. We're going to go to Assets, Import New Asset, Tutorial, Normal, Redone. Now, we got to actually set this texture up because look how crappy that looks. We're going to go up here and we're going to set it as Normal Map and turn off Create from Grayscale and then hit Apply. There, that should work. Now, if we go into one of these models, um, click on this, we go into the test material, then we can click on Normal Map. Scroll down until we see we're in the ends, and we double click on this, and we can now, we got this. Now, I found 1.5 works great for something like this. Now, we have this, but I don't want all of them to be this color. I want some to be black and some to be white. So, I'm going to make this almost white. Not exactly, almost white. Then, I'm going to duplicate this material, and on this one, I'm going to make this one almost black. So now, and I'm going to drag this on to, so I duplicate it from left to right, so, should be all of them, and I'm going to drag this, actually no, I can't do that, so I'm just going to drag them all onto right here. Now notice that when it's doing on the chessboard, it's making that weird imprint. Um, that's because Unity does not know. Um, Unity does not, is taking into account the normal the unwraps. So now, if we see, if we select nothing, that looks pretty cool. Now we need to position our camera. I'm gonna position. I'm gonna group all of these. I'm gonna hit create empty. I'm gonna call these pieces. Now, if we had f um, 16 of these pieces 
but they were all the 65,000 vertices, it would take forever to load. That's why we made it low poly. Now I'm going to go to the game view so I can see what it's going to look like. And I'm going to move our camera, rotate it on the Y, because I really want this to be like a dramatic shot, and we want to move this in, and now the Z is controlling left and right somewhat. We want this to be like right there, and then we want to rotate this up and move it down. Rotate again on the Y like this, and then on the Z. Let's get that dramatic angle. And I think I can change our field of view. And I want to get it right up in to the model. This is a lot of experimentation. So this might take a while. Um sorry. I'm going to make this 1720 type fixed resolution 1920 1080. So now that we have, now if I hit maximize on play and play this, you'll notice that that's kind of what we want, but we also want it up just a tad more. We kind of want to block out this board, but we also want to still be dramatic. Oh, almost got it, almost got it. All right, I think I did a circle there, but who cares? So now we want to we want to do some camera effects to make this really stand out. That's why we imported the effects. So I'm going to go to effects, not effects. Whoops, image effects. Then we're going to add a blur and blur optimized. Correction, we do not want blur optimized. We want to have if we got image effects, camera depth of field. Okay, and we are going to focus on the very first piece. Um, which was, if I go into scene view and it's like this, it was the first one. Yes, so we're going to go to main camera, back to the game view. So like this, and we want this to be kind of blurry, but also kind of not, so... I found that one I think 1.76 will work good. We also want um, DX11 doesn't work so sample count high. And we want the max blur distance to be like 10. No, 5. 3. 2 looks good. High resolution. Now, let's add a bloom. So we're going to go to Image effects, bloom and glow, bloom optimized. And we want this threshold, we want the intensity to be like 0.25. So we want it to be, don't want it to be that bloomed. And then we want the threshold pretty low. And we don't want to mess with that yet. Okay, so now that we have that, we are going to add in some color correction by going to image, color adjustments, color correction, 3D texture lookup. And I'm going to say based on our checkerboard texture and that's we actually don't want by text te um, color correction to look up so we want to go to image effects color correction ramp 
Uh, no. Oh, crap. I clicked on the wrong one. Again. Color adjustments. Color correction. Now we're going to go to the red channel, and I found that changing this to ping pong, because you can't move the... And moving it like that makes it look really good. Very high saturation. If we click on the green, change it to ping pong, because ping pong tends to work actually really well for this. We move it kind of down like this. And we click on the blues. It's ping pong. And you'll notice if it goes to ping pong. Uh, I can't select anything because Unity is... This is the only thing I don't like. Is I can't select a vertice. Okay, there we go. And we want the yellows to be really rich. Like that. Okay, so now our camera still out of alignment. Wow. So let's move this over because I want it to be really dramatic. And like I want this to get featured by Unity. I want it to be that dramatic. Not featured by you know, it's just a s sarcastic. Smooth, like to right. Rotate like that, but then we also want to rotate it down and zoom out. Dad, come in, I hit the wrong one. It's a lot of experimentation. Alright, you want know screw this. The other one looked better. So I'm just going to hit Command Z of ton until I get that. Looks good. Alright, guys. So that wraps up um, Blender in, I mean, b using Photoshop and Blender and Unity all together to make a scene like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually build this. Um, I'm going to see if I can build in the cloud and see if I can do that. Okay, so I'm not going to do that yet. I'm eventually going to get it to where you guys can download this on to your um, phones and, stu and such. So I'm just going to build this, add current, and save this as just untitled, and then build as untitled to project. Okay, guys, so that was... Um, that was modeling, texturing. That was the entire game asset creation. And I just did that at the end because I wanted to make an image and I wanted to show off Unity 5. So I will. And so now, if I click on this untitled, I hope my screen recorder still works. So with this, okay, so I'm going to go to 1280 by 720, fantastic graphics. I'm going to leave all of that the same. I'm going to hit play. And it's going to do this really cool splash screen. And then we should have our image fade in. That looks awesome. The texture is pretty low quality, but no one cares. I'm going to screenshot this by hitting Shift Command 4 and dragging this across the entire screen. Okay. So, I'm gonna, that's slowing down my computer. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys, re hope you guys enjoyed this.